So on October 11th, we had an event that happened that was hidden. They hid it from everybody, but they, like I showed you, I showed you a ton of codes on, so just look at my two videos on the Pope. Um, after October 11th, they coded like crazy. So look at this code, Antichrist Pope Francis death October 11th. That's exactly what they were coding for days tens, 20, 30 different codes, at least that I even found, um, all over the place. And the Daily Mail, just all over the place, they were saturating uh, where they put the Kabbalah codes uh, that this happened. But interesting, I knew that the days had been uh, shortened because of this event. scrolling down and except those days should be shortened 2027 you see that antichrist pope francis death october 11 and except those days should be shortened what does the rest of the verse say there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened if you scroll down you see a code here that says there are days remaining with a whole bunch of other gibberish words. So I decoded this code and look what I found. Because I had discovered that they're coding Heshavan 17 yesterday, I showed you the video. So I, I calculated, all right, how many days is from October, which was supposed to be the beginning of the Great Tribulation. Um, but the days were shortened because of what happened. And I will sh I'll prove that to you. So there's 31 days to Heshvan 17, which is the day of the flood, which they are coding. You saw that. Calling it the end of the world fashion using a code that equals November 10th, and then using a statement. Watch the video if you haven't seen it yet, but it's Julia Fox. She put out a video, end of the world fashion. Then she uses a code um, that exactly equals Cheshvan 17, which is the day of the flood. It was all about the flood. All right, nobody makes a stupid dress out of a towel, okay? Towels equaled November 10th. Then she used a phrase that equaled 1845, which equals Cheshavan 17. Obvious she was coding the flood. It's obvious, okay? Then she says it's the end of the world fashion. Okay, it's really blatant. It would, it's, it's, it's gone off over the heads of the blinded, but there are people who realize that this is a heavily coded statement. Nobody wears towels. Nobody cuts towels and makes a dress out of towels. They just use, they needed to use a gematria that equaled November 10th. So they made up that stupid Kabbalah skit. But so there are 31 days remaining. There will the eagles be gathered together. That equals there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. 3752. My program's not working, so I couldn't, uh, but it's 3752. It matches there are 31 days remaining. There will the eagles be gathered together. 3752. Do you remember the Lord saying that? 3752. And Jesus was talking about, so Luke. 1737 this was regarding the coming of the kingdom Luke 1737 it was talking about the tribulation and the end of times basically so Luke 1737 and they answered and said to him where Lord like you know when is this going to happen and he said unto them wheresoever the body is Thither will the eagles be gathered together. There will the eagles be gathered together. 3752. There are 31 days remaining. There will the eagles be gathered together.
There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. 3752. And then a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. 3752. An asteroid impact. November 11. Let's put it all together. Antichrist, Pope Francis' death, October 11. There are 31 days remaining. There will the eagles be gathered together. 5779. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. 31 days remaining. Pope Francis' death, October 11. There will the eagles be gathered together. Luke 17, the 2027 code that equaled. This is important because it, it states when the, the mountain was cast into the sea. Antichrist, Pope Francis' death, October 11, 2027. Equals, and except those days should be shortened. The rest of the verse is 3752. It equals... There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Scroll down here, you see what happened. A great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. What if I were to tell you that this 2027 code tells us exactly when, how many days from the beginning of the Great Tribulation and then it tells us what day it happened. And yes, it absolutely does. First of all, let's establish the beginning of the tribulation was April 13, 2019. The elites marked it by doing this. They put the clay to X Dimic Pan exercise on this side and then devoke US official on that side, on 3-11-20, there's 666 days in between. Right in the middle is the beginning of the tribulation, the first half of the tribulation, first 42 months. So that's a confirmation in itself that this is correct. And then if you count to clay to academic pan exercise, all the way to the end of the first 42 months, which is confirmed in Gematria a million different ways. Um, certain things didn't happen because, because the book was opened, okay? So, and that was God's plan all along to shorten the, the days and to catch them in their game, basically to trap them in a snare, which he did. And so to the end of the first 42 months is October 11, 2022, which that was the day that the abyss was opened and the Pope died because of that. It was all marked in Gematria. It was all provable in Gematria. If you watch my two videos that I made, prophesy clothed in sackcloth equals 1277 in Gematria. And that's how many days are from April 13, 2019 to October 11. And you can see how they put this 333 days on either side. The Demic Pan exercise right there. And then Devoke US official date right there. They marked it. And so that totals 666 days with 333 on either side of the beginning of the first 42 months. Clade X equals 333. That's exactly what they named this exercise. They were marking out the beginning of the prophesying. And the dates, the gematria of the dates confirm it. April 13th, 2019, 2412 equals the chosen one Elijah prophesied dressed in sackcloth. Here we go. Nisan 8, which is April 13th, 2019. God's saints prophesy 42 months. Other codes I have revealed that the prophesying was decoding the, the mark of the beast code. That was the point. That's why God lined it up like this. That's why you see all of this equaling 666, 600, 1610 days equals 600, 
three score and six in gematria is all planned out so that the code could be deciphered and that their judgment could, uh, because deciphering the mark of the beast properly is the thing that opened the abyss, is the thing that brought judgment on Pope and the Queen. Pope and the Queen held a lot of satanic power within themselves in, the, in Satan's kingdom. So that was a really big hit on them. All right. God's saints prophesy 42 months. Gematria prophesy. Prophecy 4137. Prophecy equals 666. And that was the point. The Gematria of 666. Deciphering that. That was the point. 4137 equals Nissan 8, 5,779, 4137, that equals the date, uh, April 13, 2019, in Jewish, on the Jewish calendar, and that, again, that equals God, Saints, Prophecy, 42 months, Gematria Prophecy, I can prove it several other ways, just a moment, first day of the seven-year tribulation, 2796, the beginning of the end, April 13, 2019. But God is shortening the days. And this was all planned because look at how amazing this is. So 2027 equals 1307 plus, um, plus the code 315 day. Okay. November 11 is the 315th day of the year. Okay. So Heshvian 17, the day of the flood is on November 11. So, we're going to 2027 equals 1307 plus 315 plus day. Day equals what? 405 plus 405. 2027. All right, let's use substitutions then so I can show you how this works. All right. So Artemis equals 315. So we're going to put Artemis day. I'm going to put 315 around there. So you know we're talking about the 315th day. Artemis is just a substitution for that. And then we're going to find a substitution for 1307. So this is how Gematria works, folks. All right, we're just going to use you must be born again. That's just a substitution for 1307. Okay. All right. I'm going to put it surrounding because it doesn't calculate numbers. You must be born again. 13. There's a reason why I'm doing this. All right. Because this delineates how many days from the beginning of the tribulation and this tells us what day the event happens. What event? I'm going to show you in a moment. Okay. Beginning of the tribulation. 4-13-2019. So we're going to do the day after to 11-11, 11, 11, which is Heshvan 17. 13-07 days from the beginning of the tribulation, April 13-2019. We started the next day after. This is perhaps why they're coding November 10th, because the event could happen on the evening of the 10th, because we know that's when the day starts, okay? So it could be like this to the 10th, the evening of the 10th is when the event happens. So we'll see. So it's either the evening of November 10th, which is why they might be coding November 10th. So 1307 days. So we see that right here in the code. 1307. Artemis. Or Artemis equals 315th day. Equals 2027. And that equals and except those days should be shortened. But then the rest of the code reveals this. Watch. There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. But what is the rest of the, what does it say? A great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. On what day? 
on this day, we figured out the code. This equals, unless those days be shortened, uh, but for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Unless those days are shortened, no flesh would be saved. That verse equals 5779. So 1307 days from the Great Tribulation is the 315th day of the year. A great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. So that riddle is solved. The days were shortened to November 10, 2022, or November 11, 2022. That's why they're talking about the end of the, wo the world with those dates. So just to repeat, 1307 is how many days had passed from the beginning of the tribulation, which I can prove to you in a million different ways in Gematria. I give, showed you three different ways. There are so many. So to Heshvan 16, the eve of Heshvan 17, the eve of the flood is 1307 days. November, 10, November 11, Heshvan 17, day, three, which is the 315th day, November 11. A great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. Asteroid impact. So 1307 days from the beginning of the Great Tribulation. On the 315th day, which is November 11, which is Heshvan 17, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. That equals 5779, which equals, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. It, it looks to me like the days are being shortened to Heshvan 17, or the eve of Heshvan 17, which is November 10th. 1307 or 1308 days from the beginning of the Great Tribulation. 1,307 days from the beginning of the Seven Year Tribulation. 5,006. So, right here, okay, that's November 10. The Eve of the Flood. 1,307 days from the beginning of the Seven Year Tribulation. 5,006. Gematria confirms itself, okay? This is how. All right, so it is the Great Tribulation, because you'll see next. 1307, so it looks like the eve of Heshvan 17. It looks like that's why they're coding November 10th, because the, the day and the, the Jewish day starts in the evening, by the way. You know, evening to morning. It looks like this is going to happen on the evening of the 10th. That's 1307 days from the beginning of the seven year tribulation. So that code equals 5006. Guess what it says? It's the end of the world, November 10. A large mountain comet was cast into the sea. 1307 days from the beginning of the seven year tribulation, 5006. I showed you with proof in Gematria that April 13th was the beginning of the seven year tribulation, except the father has cut the days short. He tricked them. I'm working on a, another code. I just saw that he tricked them. He tricked the wicked, basically. Um, I'm going to try to figure out that code for you guys. Uh, that equals 1307 days. So that equaled 5,006, so 1,307 days from the beginning of the seven year tribulation, 5,006. It's the end of the world, November 10. A large mountain comet was cast into the sea. No wonder why Julie Fox, Julia Fox is making stuff out of towels and talking about the end of the world. Towels equals 1165 equals November 10th. She's making end of the world fashion, she said in the video I showed you from yesterday. Okay, no wonder. So, <clears throat> 1307. So we have 1307 days from the beginning of the seven year tribulation 
to November 10th. That's when days are being cut short. 1307 days, 315th day. So this looks like it's going to happen on, on the 11th in some parts of the world and on the 10th in some parts of the world because it says 315th day, which is November 11th. So I think that's what's going on with the code there. 315th day, which is November 11th, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, 5779. That equals, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, 5779. Antichrist, Pope Francis' death, October 11, yes, he did die on that day. They are hiding it. There are 31 days remaining. There will the eagles be gathered together. Jesus' parable, 5779. That equals the verse that he cut the days short because of the elect. That verse equals 5779. Luke 17, all of this, remember Lot's wife? That's when there was a sudden destruction. Jesus was telling you all these telling us all these clues. And they answered and said to him, him, Where, Lord? Like, when is this going to happen? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will, will the eagles be gathered together. Antichrist, Pope Francis' death, October 11. There are 31 days remaining. There will the eagles be gathered together. There's 31 days from Pope Francis' death the end of the first 42 months, when the abyss was opened, Heshvan 17, the date of the flood, 31 days. It's all stitched Break together. this down one more time, 5779. All right, Antichrist Pope Francis' death, October 11, equaled this part of the code, just a moment, 2027. That equals, and except those days should be shortened, the entire verse, and except those days should be shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, he has shortened the days. I'm not say, saying it perfectly. But the whole verse equals 5779 in Gematria minus 2027 20, equals 3752. 3752 equals. So this explains to us there should be no flesh saved, but for the elect. Why, why would there no flesh be saved? 3752. Scrolling down here. A great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. That's why he had to cut short the days because and save his people because the whole entire world is going to be destroyed by an asteroid. That's how they're being reserved for fire on the day of punishment. So when was a great mountain burning with fire cast into the sea? 2027, 3752 plus 2027 20, equals 5779. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, 5779. All right, this equals 5779. This code equals 1307. There's 1307 from the beginning of the Great Tribulation, seven year tribulation, April 13, 2019 to November 10th. And then we have 315th day. So November 10th through November 11th, it'll be November 10th on some parts of the world and November 11th on some parts of the world. This 315th day is November 11. A great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. 1,307 days from the beginning of the seven year tribulation. 5,006 is November 10th. 1307 days. It's the end of the world. November 10, a large mountain comet was cast into the sea. 5,006. When they say peace and safety, biblical time of the end, coming early, tricked the weird head. 5006. It's the end of the world, November 10. A large mountain comet was cast into the sea. 5006. 
1,307 days from the beginning of the seven-year tribulation. 1,308 days from the beginning of the seven-year tribulation, 4295, is November 11, 2022. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. We're going to take a look at the at this Daily Mail article. I believe it was on the 28th or the 27th. But anyway, the Jonas brothers are seen in this article with um, one of their wives. I can't remember her name. Maybe it'll come to me. But they all do look extremely unhappy there in the distance, especially the brother. Clinging floral patterned mini dress equals 1064 equals seventh seal. However, it equals Bible God arrives, which is one of those code within codes within codes. Bible God equals Noah. And then, okay, so you see Noah right there. So arrives Noah. But arrives is also a code within a code itself as well. Okay, arrives is equal to um, the same to arrives, 965, reserve, 965. That's that same passage in Second Peter. Um, I'm going to plug that in right now regarding the Day of Judgment and the judgment that was reserved, reserved for the Day of Judgment and the perdition of ungodly men. So reserved unto fire the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So they're using Noah and they're using a, a word reserve, which is in that passage, whereby the world that was then being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Clinging floral pattern mini dress while looking extremely unhappy. We find Bible God arrives. Bible God is Noah. And then we have, okay, so it's this code is broken up into two parts. So Bible God arrives is the code that was equal to her dress. And it also equals the seventh seal. We're going to remove that part to see what's left. And so arrives is equal to reserve, as you can see right there. So it's clear they keep coding the same words that are in Second Peter regarding the flood and the fire. The day of and judgment and perdition of ungodly men, 2814. And we have the end of all things date, son of man is here. November 11, 2814. So that code does decode to that. That is a possibility that, that the Gematria code does unfold to that. It's pretty amazing. Here's another code that they coded, looking very upset. Lavender colored dress covered in bright red roses with dull green leaves jutting out, um, blah, blah, blah. Full code equals 7022. Oh, I found an extremely interesting code that I knew needed more decoding. So you see that equals 7022. Going underground will not save you either. The first part is just gibberish code. So we're going to decode that part. The full thing decodes to this. Okay. The moment the asteroid hits the water, depth earth burned up and all flesh. So it reads, the moment the asteroid hits the water depth, earth burned up and all flesh going underground will not save you either. 7022. 
that matches the entire coat of her outfit that she was wearing, looking entirely miserable with her husband and her brother-in-law. Lavender colored dress covered in bright red roses with dull green leaves jutting out 7022 code. Okay, that equals a pretty startling code. Look how happy they look, okay? She looks pained. He's looking at someone in the distance with a stern look. She looks extremely unhappy. Just look at their faces. What's going on? Isn't there a point that you're going, you should tell people what's going on finally? After all these secrets, your life is, whole life is lived as a secret. You can't tell people. Okay, look at his face. His brother's face in the distance is even more telling. Um, we can get a little peek right here in the corner. But yeah, quite interesting looks on their faces, especially after we just had that incident with Julia Fox designing a towel for the end of the world. Look at the looks on their faces, guys. This code has part of another code that they used the other day. The moment the asteroid hits the water, Earth burned up and all flesh. 3230, it equals, this is a, a, the same number that they used yesterday. Okay, and that equals the end of the world, Shushvan 17, 
which is November 11 this year. Okay, a lot of people have been seeing 1111 for years now. The moment the asteroid hits the water, Earth burned up, and all flesh 3230 equals. So you can see that the code is in that code that they part of it is uh, in there. Code that equaled. Um, let's just go back to it just a moment. The um, very cheerful, bright dress with a very grim countenance. That was the code for that. Okay, let's go back to this. Okay, so that equals 7022. Now, part of this is what I saw in a code the other day. Just a moment. Okay, so I am going to take out what... Okay, so this equals... 3230. This equals 3230. And I saw this code being coded just the other day. I'll show you one more time. And then that is Hashvan 175783. This code I saw the other day. Flowing midi dress pair of black patent T bar heels. Just a moment. Okay. There is the outfit right here. The code right here. So it's interesting that that code keeps showing up because it equals see it's 3230 three, three, okay So do you all recall this? This was 11-5. Eight people killed. Asher World. Eight flames. Notice the fire theme. That was on November 5th. Here is the sum for Astro World 3, 1375. Amazingly, it equals... Okay, so we have... This is important relating to November 5th. Then we have eight, and then we have November rain. Okay, 1375, that equals Astor World. So eight flames on the stage, eight people died, November, and then rain. So why 11.5? So Heshvan 10 is November 4, so that's just a day away. That is when Noah entered the ark. Okay, so we have all of that. We just saw that code here. 1375. This event was on November 4, November 5th, last year. And Astro World equals 1375. Some more codes from the Daily Mail. So it appears that the Tom Brady and Giselle Bündchen story was planned for these codes for what's happening. Um, so it looks like this is an ongoing story and the reason is the numbers. Okay. Tom Brady, Giselle, um, and Bündchen. Tom Brady and Giselle Bündchen divorce. I'm sorry I put that weirdly. That, but that's how you read it. So that equals 2001. 31 days after Pope Francis' death, he did die. It's in all the codes. The codes verify it, everything. It's just that they're covering it up. 31 days, October 11th to November 11th. Okay. Tom Brady and Giselle Bündchen divorce equals 2001. I put the and in the wrong place, I'm sorry. End of the world, Noah Comet sent hits. 2001, the comet was sent by an angel, remember? So that equals Tom Brady and Giselle Bündchen divorce. That equals 31 days from Pope Francis Antichrist's death. 31 days after Pope Francis' death, 2001, which is November 11, 2022, which is Heshvan 17, 
the exact day of the flood. Okay, Gigi Hadid, um, the code is in her sweater, and they're um, coding Son of Man scriptures about the coming of the Son of Man. Um, and the parables that were spoken of about the Son of Man and how his return, what, what it would be like. So they coded it in this sweater code here, and it is green, orange, and white sweater. And that is, I need to clarify why they're coding the Son of Man. It's because Jesus said that the days of Noah would be like the coming of the Son of Man. That's why they're coding the Son of Man scriptures. Green, orange, and white sweater. It equals 2568. Okay, and then there's parts of that. They're quoting that east to the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. There's a reason for this. There's a very big reason for this. It's like lightning from east to west, the end of the world, 4261. 1,301 days from the beginning of the seven-year tribulation. The beginning of the seven-year tribulation is uh, April 13, 2019. So let's add 13, uh, 1301 days. And then we will arrive at 11.4. Um, so that's when Noah entered the ark. Okay, so here's the 13.01. And then it brings us to, um, to November 4, when Noah enters the ark. So I don't know if anything's going to happen on that day or if it's just spiritual, you know, like we'll be sealed. These are just proofs of why I think something may happen on 11-11, but I'm not saying thus saith the Lord. I'm just showing you proof why it looks very, very, very... There's a lot of proofs, let's put it that way. Like it's going to happen, but I'm not saying 100%. 1,301 days from the beginning of the seven-year tribulation, 4261. This is how much codes I saw for October 11, and I... October 11 they coded heavily that the Pope died and they coded heavily about the abyss. These are things that they were, are hiding from us. So it's, you're just going to have to look at the codes that I've shown you in their publications and, you know, show you that they're coding it heavily. Well, the only proof we have, right? We'll have proof if, no, if it happens on this day that this timeline is absolutely correct. Jesus like lightning from west to east, the end of the world, 4261, equals 1,301 days from the beginning of the seven-year tribulation. Um, and so may, perhaps that parable will be, will, will be fulfilled on that day. Um, the beginning is 413, 2019. Son of Man comes back, the world ends, 1717. 1,301 days, 1717. Son of man come back, the world ends, 1717. Okay, so 1301 days, there's codes within that that state this indeed could be the end. And it falls on the day of Noah's Ark. have more codes so Halloween I guess is a perfect time for them to code their codes right look at the look on his face he's doing hand signs you can see it's obvious contortion of his hands in the other photo there see right there anyway he's kind of motioning to his um forgot the name of those things for a moment Chaps equals the end. 162. Chaps, the end. 162. All right, we have. She doesn't look very happy, does she? He looks like he's been doing drugs. He used to look so much better. Anyway, Fred and Wilma Flintstone, 1460. The number 17 hides a code within itself. 
you take out the 17, um, we have trumpet, the number, tsunami, 17, possibility that that is what they're coding because those events would cause a tsunami. And there's been visions of a huge tsunami on the East Coast as well. So they're wearing, uh, so someone was wearing a Power Ranger outfit right here. And she doesn't have a very good look on her face either. Um, Power Ranger equals 1308. And that's the exact number of days from the beginning of the seven year tribulation, April 13, 2019, to hash span 17 is a total of 1308 days. So they're definitely coding this time period, 100%. So 1308 is how many days is from the beginning of the seven year tribulation to Heshvan 17, 11, 11, 2022. Power Ranger, and now look at her face. Just a little unhappy smirk is what it looks like to me. Um, there was an article with MGK and Megan Fox. I'm not even sure if they're a real couple or, or what. Um, but they were coding Chain Leash, which is 185, which is the original Hebrew gematria for the word La'ana, which is wormwood. So it equals 185 in the original Hebrew. They're also coding other uh, codes that have to do with this. So Chain Leash, 185. Let's take a look at the expression in his face. You know, you can tell a lot by their expressions, the doom that they're facing. Look at the expert, the look in his eye. Serious, look at the look on her face. It's obvious she is communicating to something in the distance as to someone in the distance as well. He's wearing a black PVC bra, so they coded 546, which is the same as asteroid. Okay, so now they're coding La'ana asteroid, which is the Wormwood asteroid. La'ana means bitterness going on. The entire article was coded with phrases that have to do with Wormwood. Okay, asteroid equals 546 equals the black PVC bra that she was so wearing. So Megan in this article is coding to her, her what she's wearing and then pointing to what he's wearing so um so look at how she has her hand on his clothing okay his eyes look really spooky there um and then she points to her clothing just a moment so do you see how she has her hand on his clothing and then she's pointing to her clothing her she's pointing to her robe and her fishnets okay and then also look at how she's pointing at her clothing. So it says that she's wearing black, uh, gray robes. They're not gray, they're black, but whatever. Gray robes. Um, and then he was wearing black and red and black priest outfit. Okay, so that's what he's wearing. So it said she was wearing a set of gray robes and he was wearing a red and black priest outfit. Here it is, that equals 2039. And then that equals 126, okay. The reason why they are doing that is because hemlock is a code for wormwood, which equals 126. I'll show you just a moment. Okay, Strong's 3939, La'ana. Um, and then, so all of these words, to curse, it means to curse, bitterness, wormwood, hemlock. So it's the star of bitterness, the cursed star, the wormwood star, the hemlock star, or La'ana star. It could be called all of those things. And they are using all of those words to code. 
that star. So I have been busy making sense of the new timeline and wow, it's incredible. It's just as incredible and pointed. It had, you know, remember how much October 11 made so much sense? That's how much sense this makes. So there's 31 days total of the Great Tribulation if the asteroid hits and it was going to destroy the world on November 11th, 2022, which is what the Bible calls sudden destruction. The Great Tribulation days shortened to 31 days. Okay, the first 42 months was from April 13. Okay, so um, there's 31 days now from, the interesting thing is there's 1280 days from October 11 to the original end of the tribulation. So take a look at this code. The key of the abyss, 1280. All right, that's why the abyss opened and killed Pope Francis, even though they're covering it up. And they're going to keep covering it up. They are not going to announce this. Elijah call down fire from heaven. Is AGNC star. AGNC equals 155. 155 is the Hebrew gematria for the Wormwood asteroid. The La'ana asteroid is 155 in the original Hebrew word. Laana, Greek is the word uh, wormwood, but in Hebrew it's Laana. It means bitterness. It can be referred to as hemlock. It can be referred to as cursed. But what is that code? Listen to this. The Great Tribulation days shortened to 31 days. I'll send. I'll leave you a link to this, but. There's lots of proof that it began in Jumatria on April 13, 2019. Okay, we had 1277 days. That equals prophesy clothed in sackcloth. So Elijah prophesied clothed in sackcloth for 42 months, and that's exactly that Jumatria. Prophesy clothed in sackcloth equals 1277 in Jumatria. It's so exact, it's amazing. And now we have a 31 day difference to Heshvan uh, 17. So there's 31 days in between. The Great Tribulation Day. So there was the Tribulation of 42 months, and then the end of it was called the Great Tribulation. Um, the Great Tribulation Days shortened to 31 days equals 3231. Guess what that equals? Elijah call down fire from heaven, the end of the earth, or I, Elijah, call down fire from heaven and the sight of men. Three, two, three, one. There are so many codes that confirm that this is quite a possibility, that God is just going to shorten everything by sending an asteroid and then we'll have the new heaven and the new earth. And it says that they will go off to everlasting con condemnation. And then the righteous will go off into everlasting life. It makes a lot of sense. All right, 11, 11, 22, end of the world, asteroid impact, Pacific Ocean. 31 day code after 42 months. Okay, look at this. The end of the earth. 31 days after the first 42 months of seven year tribulation. So that's what we have here. That's on the timeline. The first 42 months, and then we have 31 days after. So the code tells us, I'll read it one more time. The end of the earth, 31 days after the first 42 months of the seven years tribulation. So we have 42 months, and then 31 days, that equals 6399. That code equals punishment, is in the form of angel of death, cast, cast, cursed asteroid, hits water, Pacific Ocean, on day 315 is the end of the world. 
6399. That matches their, remember what they were, that code they used? I'll come back to that in a second. So the Angel of Death, Death cast the cursed asteroid. Wormwood equals, hem, it means cursed or hemlock or bitterness. It, so Wormwood is either Laana, cursed, bitterness, or hemlock. That's what that star can be called, those different names. So it's the Wormwood star is when the cursed star is the Wormwood star. If you look at the defi definition of Laana, which is the hero of Wormwood, it, the definition is cursed or hemlock or Wormwood. Okay, so the world is, they are punished. It's in the form of the Angel of Death casting the cursed or wormwood asteroid. It hits water at Pacific Ocean on day 315 is the end of the world. 315th day is November 11, 315th day of the year. There's more codes, just a moment. Okay, now we have this code, wormwood asteroid impact. Pray to escape all these things code. Pray that he will count you worthy to what? To escape. All right, that code. Pray that he will count you worthy equals 4293 equals Mormud Asteroid Impact, November 11, 4293. To escape all these things that shall come and pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Guess what that equals? November 12, simply amazing. So the ones that escape all those things, it equals November 12, it's just simply amazing. The other ones won't be alive after November 11. So the ones to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. The ones that will be escaping all the things that come to pass and stand before the Son of Man well, those are still in existence on November 12, because they will be have raptured, have been, they will escape. It's simply amazing. Okay, there's more. Then we have the sudden destruction code. And they say peace and safety, and then sudden destruction shall come upon them. All right. Peace and safety. All right, this was, this was a code. Peace and safety equals 721. Cursed asteroid, 721. The rest of it's here. Sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, 6199. Is planet end, November 11, 2022, 6199. That equals what? Sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. 6199 is planet end, November 11, 2022. 6199. All right, asteroid impact, November 11, Pacific Ocean. The 1280 days were shortened due to decoding the mark, the key of the abyss. So this tells us why all of this is happening instead of going ahead with the rest of the tribulation. It says that for the sake of the elect, the days were shortened. So how did that happen? Okay, let's find out. Hold on a moment. So first, the key of the abyss, 1280, October 11, 2022 to April 13, 2026, was the key of the abyss. So figuring that out, opened the on that date the mark of the beast code opened the abyss and killed pope francis they're never going to tell you that because it would expose too much all right the end time 2019 so the end time beginning in 2019 cut um and it says 1280 so 1280 days so it was cut this 1280 days was cut. It's no longer. This code is a little bit harder to explain. 
So the 1280 day was cut, the end time was cut, that started in 2019, because the mark of the beast code, Kabbalah, which is 37, 37 is wisdom. So um, it says that, um, let he who has wisdom calculate the number of the beast for as a number of man, blah, blah, blah. So it's the wisdom code, the wisdom 666 code. All of these things equals 6389. 2019, the end time. That started the end time. So it was cut. The 1280 days was cut. 1280 days would have taken all the way from the October 11, 2022 to April 13, 2026 was going to be the second half of the tribulation, but it was cut. And then, because the mark of the beast code, Kabbalah, wisdom, Kabbalah equals 37, and 37 is the gematria for wisdom in the original Hebrew. It was 37 and 73. And then, Chi XI vow decoded. I'll, it's because the mark of the, the 666 GXI vowel um, code was decoded. Let's take a look at GXI vowel just a moment. So that's a little bit more complicated, but it explains everything. And it has all the numbers in there perfectly. So it's saying that that 1280 days was cut short. Because of what? Because the wisdom 666 mark of the beast code was decoded. So GXI, GXI vowel equals 666, okay? GXI vowel. So that entire code, so I'll just give you a synopsis. The end time starting in 2019, time was cut. The 1280 days was cut short because the mark of the beast, wisdom, 666 code, was decoded. 6389. 6389 equals. Now, what is the result of that? Tidal wave, Pacific Ocean, from Wormwood asteroid impact, November 11. 6389. That is the result of that. I found these little things interesting. Um, a pregnant woman's labor pains, 1798 and 1798 lamp, November 11. So that's pretty interesting because we remember. So this is just part of the code. I would be interested to find the rest. So if I found the rest of the scripture, I might do that here shortly. November 11, 2022. Then he shall sit upon the throne of his glory, 7795. Upon the wicked he will rain down snares, fire and sulfur, and a scorching wind will be the portion of their cup. Destruction by fire. End times? Rains begin. Proving that end times has to do with Noah's flood. The rains began November 11. Heshvan 17. Then he shall sit upon the throne of his glory, 1970. November 11, end times, 1970. The end of all things, date, the Son of Man is here, November 11, 2814. <clears throat> the bright morning star, the last trumpet, thousand years, 2814. The day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men, 2814. So we know when that is, right? November 11. The day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. This is the passage that says that they go underground, 
we already have seen, we already know that they have facilities underground. They've been doing horrible deeds with them um, this whole time. I uh, believe that's where they've been doing um, experiments with cloning humans. This equals 5177, the 315th day of 2022, Noah end. 5177. Guess what day that is? Three, this church age is just a substitution for 315. I needed to find something for 315. Just like when I use the word prophecy, it's just a substitution for the number 666. Okay, so you see that church age is in here. Okay, so this, this code is the 315th day of 2022, Noah end equals 5177. And that is the day of the flood, November 11. That's the day of the flood, 2022, 11-11-2022 is the 315th day of the year. And that matches the code that says that they are going to go and hide and say to the mountains, fall on us and hide us from the face of the one who sits on the throne and from the lamb. Justin looks extremely unhappy. Look at this guy behind him. Look at that look on his face. Both of them. Jeez, okay. What is he wearing? Blue Cookie Monster onesie and white trainers. They're so immature. <laughs> Seriously, grow up. Um, blue Cookie Monster onesie and white trainers. He looks miserable. 2420. And then Wrath of Jesus Christ. The Wrath of the Lamb. I mean, they're trying to be inconspicuous, I guess, because the Wrath of the Lamb is... Just a moment. But I just showed you. And they said to the mountains and the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of the one seated on the throne and from the Wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who is able to withstand it? So I showed you how it is coded to... B, it says Noah, 315th day, 2022. Here's a quick reminder. I'm just showing all you, I haven't seen this much on evidence pointing to something as I saw on October 11th. And then I know what happened on October 11th. So, and then I knew that's when the timeline had changed. And then here it is figured out. So it really looks to me like especially people have been seeing 1111 for years so this scripture and they said to the mountains and the rocks hide on us from the face it got cut off so I, I put put the rest of it here and the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb 5177 matches the church age church age is 315 so the 315th day of 2022 end or Noah equals is so this could say the 315th day of 2022 is end here watch okay let's simply substitute Noah is is okay that's the same thing 